Previously on Life with Kay, in the last vlog, um, I had a bit of an update. I got my nails done, hung out with Siwe. I hadn't seen her in a very long time. We worked out. Quite a few things happened in that vlog, so if you have not checked it out, definitely do. And let's get into this one. Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm here looking for a knife. Um, currently making dinner. It's Monday, so like we're making bolognese for the girl. We're making some bolognese for the girly. So that's what we're doing right now. But I got, I don't know why I'm waving this knife around. I got a package and I wanted to open it for you guys because I do know that load shading is going to hit me, I think in like 30, 45. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I got a package. I got a package and I want us to open it together because I'm kind of excited for this. And also I ordered quite a few things last week and they're just coming in like now. So. Ah! But anyway, how are you? If you are new to my channel, hey girl, I am Kay. Nice to meet you. Um, do you become a part of the babes? Definitely subscribe if you like my content. I would absolutely love to have you a part of the family. And also, I just want to make sure I'm not showing you guys my dress. And also, um, make sure that you like the video if you like it that would really help me out and yeah um let's just open let's just see how they packaged everything i've been looking for these bathroom mats everywhere i went literally particularly this specific one everywhere everywhere this color this material um it's okay it's called the color is called stone and it's the memory foam like bathroom mats i've been looking everywhere there are lots of memory foam mats but not a lot of them well none actually except for woolworths are this really pretty like nude color i don't know why oh they had to package it uh -huh, i hate that why did they do this this thing they could have laid it Okay, you would have needed a bigger box, but damn. But anyway, this is the bathroom mat that I've been looking for. This is the memory foam bathroom mat by Woolworths. And this is the shade Stone. Um, it's a super soft and super absorbent anti-slip rug or mat for the bathroom. So it's got this one for the toilet parts and then wherever you want to put this. I'm going to put in one, I'm going to put it close to the shower. And because the shower in the other bathroom is right by the door, I'm going to have to put the other one underneath the basin. So this is this. And then here's the second one. I did that same folding thing to it. But I'm so happy that I actually got good quality um mats because i there there was lots of options but i could like feel that they were so thin that they were flaky that they were shaggy but i knew that woolworths had exactly what i was looking for um it's just that when i first got the app like the actual shopping app um woolworths was out of stock everywhere and they had like the blue gray only in stock and then i checked again at the beginning of last week and then i ordered two of them because they had stone back in stock so that's that and then i also got a new laundry hamper because like with that i could only find a laundry hamper that i liked from Woolworths. all the other ones were okay but 
they didn't they didn't hit the spot the way this one did and i got it even though um i'm not currently doing my bathrooms but it was just one of those things where i honestly haven't seen anything better than this so let me just get this one right now so which packaging is this one Okay. This does <laughs> this does look small though. My one is actually kind of big, but it's so old that it just looks very weird. So I wanted to get rid of it and just have this one. You know which type of packaging is this for real? That's home runa. Guys, this is just a laundry hamper. What is happening? Oh. Oh. No way. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> is there a picture? Yeah, look at the bottom right there. I hope you guys can see. This is cute. Oh shit, there's assembly instructions. Okay. Okay, listen, I'll just take this out so you guys can see. And then when I'm done, I will assemble it with you guys. But I just wanted to, like, take them out of the box with you because, like I said, the electricity is definitely leaving. So I'm going to take my night shower. So, yeah, that's basically my situation. I'm going to be eating in the dark, everything in the dark. So I didn't want this to wait until Kalsan because I'm going to take a shower later so I wanted those mats to be on the floor. So yeah, it's made from bamboo. So it's like, oh, it's so cute. Shame. This feels soft. Why does it feel soft? Let me take it out. No, but she is small. No, it's, she is tiny. She's actually super small, but she's so cute. Ah, oh, You guys can already see by the color of her hair go down so pretty <sighs> okay guys this is definitely going to have to wait there's nothing at the bottom yo i uh, no <laughs> mm -mm. but anyway this is the top look how cute look how cute and then i guess this is the inside that you put like you slip it inside then this must be the bottom but why does it have holes I, okay anyway i'll see this after i'm done what i'm doing in the kitchen but yeah that's basically it for now i'll come clean up also quickly but yeah like i said this is it in the corner like i said this is it in the corner, super cute. I'm just going to have to get this right. It doesn't look hard, but... This is small. This is short, more than anything. It's like super short. Anyway, I'll deal with whatever as long as it's cute. Literally, laundry baskets are disgustingly ugly out there. Like, they're so ugly. And the cute ones don't have, like, a top. Which is what I want. I want it to close at the top, you know. So yeah, anyway, let me go finish what I'm doing in the kitchen. And then I'll come back and do this. <laughs> okay. I just built it. Let me show you. So this is how the main bathroom looks. So yeah, it's actually not that small. This is actually the same height. This is my old one. So you can see like she was she was done okay she was done but look how cute and it's got like structure so i'll link it if you guys are looking for a cute laundry basket but yeah this is also how the mats look so this is super cute obsessed i guess the only thing is my toilet is square and this thing is round so there's a bit of a but you know 
who actually cares who's actually looking at that but yeah this is how this one looks and then in here so this looks so uh, i was definitely tired of taking showers without this so i'm very happy that i got exactly exactly what i want it's so cute it's so cute i love it love 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 and it kind of matches the towels that i have but everything's going to match this color literally <laughs> so i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah Oh yeah, that's a pretty angle. <sighs> Love her. Love her so much. Can't wait until her friends arrive. <laughs> but love her so much. been cleaning all day like I deep cleaned the kitchen um, and now I'm hungry but it's almost dinner time and I'm defrosting some chicken schnitzels for dinner so I'm not like hungry to wait I want to eat a lot but I do want to hold myself down I'm gonna put some lotion on my hands. My hands are so dry. I feel like I've had my hands in bleach water all the time. That's what I've been freaking doing. Just cleaning. But yeah. Um, I found a new noodle from Kikokai Go Woolworths. 
so uh, there's these noodle cups that I'm really like actually obsessed with from Woolworths and I just wanted to try out this I saw it on the app these are chow mein noodles and they say that they are ready to eat in four minutes they're four minute noodle bowls and here are the instructions on the side so this is like the perfect thing to eat right before like dinner because i won't lie low shading is making me eat later so i'm just trying to get on top of it but anyway so the first thing that you're supposed to do i'm going to do this first review for you know youtube and then we'll go on to to talk tomorrow because i've got two boxes so which flavor did i take today Come on. oh this looks good this is sweet and sour and then these are just charming normal charming noodles content gotta create that content all right so that's that we'll try those tomorrow for for tiktok but first the first thing that you do is you open up these flaps that's the first instruction you just open these up like this and then you cut open put noodles back in box add sauce and reseal okay so oh this is how they look okay so i open everything put it into the box put hot water and then reseal it for microwave for two minutes and then let it stand for two minutes before serving okay that sounds simple enough let me get my scissors was voice notes for a bit so two minutes should be over oh we've got ourselves a little brothy broth nice okay they're pretty soft let's taste i think i'm gonna want to put this in another bowl let's taste Mm. Where is the um, where is the flavor? Would it be weird to add salt? No, right? It's also so hot. Um, let me add like a couple grinds of salt, and then I'll come back and eat it because it's still hot. Also. The type of noodles that depend on broth to be good mm. They never really hit the way that you always think they would I went to a restaurant once where I forgot what it was called, I'll put it on the screen if I can remember 
but you basically go there and then they basically give you like a stove on your table with two broths that you know you can order and then you just put noodles certain meats in there and i won't lie to you like unless the broth was chili nothing actually happened via the flavor of the actual noodle so it was literally depending on like those spoonfuls or forkfuls where you got some meat but anyway um let's go to the studio quickly while that just chills because i have got this is the week of deliveries got a call from the people making my tv stand it is ready two weeks before they said you know it's gonna be ready so that's exciting um then you guys saw my coffee table came and my couch is apparently coming on wednesday um load shedding fucked up the whole schedule but another delivery came and ah guys it's so nice to receive a <laughs> a back in stock or in stock not even notification because i don't think that galax boy actually sends notifications but i was it was saturday the night before i had gone out um so i was just like scrolling on my phone literally in the morning and then i saw a sponsored post by galax boy saying that this bag was in stock i wanted the black so bad but it's been out of stock so i couldn't do anything about it um if you follow me on instagram or on tiktok then you saw this first definitely definitely consider um following me on instagram definitely consider following me on tiktok you're going to get the tea way before everybody else so my box did come a little bit damaged like it was just this um in the package so the box itself came damaged but the dust bag is here and she is small and i did know that she's small because i do have the original galax boy bag um i'm not the biggest fan of that bag i won't lie i just don't like the print just on the bag uh, but the embossed, I can rock with the embossed. I just need them to come out with a card holder in this color and I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. So this is the bag that I got. This is the Galax Boy Dome Bag in the Nude Beige Cream um, embossed color. And she is stunning. She's got gold hardware and she is a mini bag she is very mini but she is stunning um i love the embossing on here it's just so much better than that print um i've got the other one i'll show it to you let me actually just go get it now so we can talk about it um so this is actually not i'm not saying that this is a bad bag or anything it's just when i'm wearing an all black fit i the, this color kind of it pops out as a purple or blue sometimes in certain lighting so it's not a bad bag i love it it's still i've had it for a while and it's actually still doing really good but if i could get my hands on the embossed version of this black i would be so so happy so i knew because i have this bag that this one was going to be small and they're pretty much the same and yeah the only difference is the color so this one comes in this pretty color and then as you can see the hardware is all gold and it's like a pretty gold and this is like the perfect nude this is the warmest caramel caram caramel -iest, like cookie nude that i like and i love that um and then she does also come with a strap which if you know you know I always need so I like the embossed because it's so much more understated than this one I don't enjoy wearing a full black outfit and then this being my bag because I just think it pops out too much if you know you know um, you know with the bags that I just got in the last vlog I really like a plain bag I love when something is super plain and minimal and then inside there is a large pocket just in the middle she is nude in the in the inside um and then you've got that tag the galax boy tag there we've got a zipper pocket over here and then we've got just a normal pocket 
on this side so the only real thing that i can say about these bags with having had the this one's not the embossed what's this one actually called like the, the original dome bag with having had the original dome bag it's really it's tough to find things in here she is well because this one's a bit older i've you know stretch it out a bit so my uh, my hand can reach comfortably in here but i know it's going to take me a while to do that with this one because it took me a very long time with that one it's hard to find things in this bag because the opening is so small but you actually have a lot of space to put things in the actual like body of the bag but the opening itself and this is a zip you know if it's cold or you know it can scratch you like it's just an uncomfortable reach in so you do have to like stretch the bag out over time but i love it i'm still going to rock that because it's a mini bag it's nude it's plain it's pretty you know <laughs> like it's literally perfect so i don't mind the actual everyday use of it because it's not like this is my everyday bag and i learn that every day you know so yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys i got me the dome bag this bitch is beautiful she's stunning love her love her if you guys see the alert of the black one being in stock please let me know please <laughs> please 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 let me know so yeah that's basically it let me go try those noodles again and see what's we'll see my lower back is killing me i'm trying to make dinner but i really want to make something very 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 simple something like i can just put in one pan and just be done with it i'm gonna make chicken schnitzels and i'm gonna make uh what are they these things called baby potatoes putting everything in the oven my lord literally like here oh my god killing me so much some baby potatoes left
I woke up with a cough I've, I've honestly wait hold on if I'm also being honest I have been coming down with the flu for a while I've just ignored it but today I had to do the mid lemon ACC 200 thing and just figure it out guys <laughs> I don't even know I literally just decided to just start recording because I don't even know. I don't know. Adulting is weird, guys. Like, not even on some complaining, on some negative. You know, like, I'm not trying to be... Like, I'm not trying... Like, I'm not saying it for banter. I'm not saying it for... You know, like, Twitter banter, like, ah, like, adulting. No, I'm not saying it like that. Like, I'm being very fucking sincere. Like, like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, it's weird as fuck. It's weird as fuck. There's just so, okay. You know, the other day I had this conversation with myself. Like, it was basically like a conversation in prayer type of thing. You know, like when you're just talking to God, but like, it's nothing deep. Like, it's not a, it's literally just a, you know, like a debrief. You know, I don't know if you guys do those things, but like once in a while, I'll have like a debrief with God. Like not even like on my knees or anything, literally just chilling in bed, no phone, no nothing. Just literally just thinking. And I feel like it was a it was not out of body, but it was the realization that it's me and I'm in this place, right? And in this place, earth the world this adulting space so much can happen i'm this person and i was literally telling god i was like okay you know because i've always seen or spoken to god like my dad basically so the tone in which this conversation was happening was okay so <laughs> in this adulting space where there's no school, there's no rules, there's no parents. It's literally just me. Right? It's literally just me, the people I choose to have around me, and the things that I choose to do. Right? In the space that I choose to do it, and in the capacity that I choose to do it. So much can happen here. In this place right because before it was okay this is how high school is this is how varsity is now it's this is how the world is so much can happen here and you know choosing for the best things to happen to yourself and just sometimes that positivity i'm not that's why i started this off by saying this is not even this is not even a on some negative banter shit no i'm not trying to be i if there's one person who understands that the tongue um the tongue has weight and there's so much that you know i definitely i'm not going to say toxic positivity but definitely just also being aware of the fact that it's okay to say that something is weird without it being Oh, you're speaking negatively upon a situation or anything like that. No, it's not even speaking negatively about a situation. It's just actually understanding that or having a sense of awareness because I I think that between finishing varsity and before moving out, I just had a it was very blurry for me because I had no real sense of formula. <laughs> like, you know, there was no real sense of formula and there's so many ways that you can do this life thing. Like, actually, there's so many ways. On top of not knowing if you're doing it the right way, 
<laughs> it's not knowing if you're doing it at the right pace. It's not knowing if this is how you... I'm not even going to say if this is how you're going to do it forever. Because one thing I have come to expect from life is change. And... You know what? I'm, I'm rambling and I'm saying a whole lot of nothing. But I know it's resonating with someone. Because what the fuck? And not even what the fuck, yeah. I'm, what the fuck? I'm so angry. This shit better put itself together. But like, damn. So this is actually how it is. Like, this is the phases. And the thing is, it really, really, really... When they say life has phases, life has chapters, they meant it. Like, there's actually, like, season upon season upon season. And one thing about these seasons is they come and they go. And realize it. Like, there's, it's one thing to say it. But then it's another thing to actually realize that, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It comes and it goes. <laughs> sometimes it's really nice to not know what everyone else is doing. And sometimes I really want to shut my brain up. Sometimes I don't need to plan. Sometimes I don't need to know. I just... Oh. And I think the most difficult thing for me, honestly, is because... I've never really had a job like outside of social media like I've never really been employed I've never been employed you know so I understand some people really really struggle with the nine-to-five thing and having basically feeling like they're living a double life but for me it's more my life is constantly my job and my job is constantly my life do you understand how it is to constantly be in a state of self-reflection every day, every minute? You are analyzing and you're planning and no, I'm not even going to make it sound bad. But basically like you're scrutinizing, analyzing, planning your life for a living. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's great. It's beautiful. It's such a great opportunity. It's such a great... It's, it's great. It's great. But it's crazy to be like... This is just my job, bro. These brands, the people behind these brands, the marketing managers, the people sending me the emails, these people are at work. Me replying, I'm not replying as Kain Sile, dude. Like, I'm literally at work. I work for Care Republic. And it's just... Because at the end of the day, like, nobody has really... This industry... I'm not going to say this industry is new. Because now, you know, there are people who have been in the game for, like, 10 years. You know, 10 to 15. Well, I'm pushing 15. But, you know, <clears throat> it's a relatively new industry. So... I don't really think anybody knows how to do it without making it personal. It's so personal. All the time. <laughs> it's so personal all the time. I'm not complaining about it. That's what I'm saying. Like Every time I try to have these conversations with myself, there's a part of me that's like, oh, so you're ungrateful? Do you know how many people would... And I'm like, you know what? I fully understand how many people would love to be an influencer and make money off of literally living their life like i go and get my head done and that's my job like you, you do you really think that i don't know that this is fantastic this is fantastic but i'm just saying like imagine if your job was to constantly work on yourself and when you woke up you are just working it's your it's a lot as somebody who's already somebody who's very 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 big on you know, self-reflection, working on yourself all the time, trying to be the best version of yourself, trying to be exactly who you imagined yourself to be. I'm so sorry for the blur, guys. What the hell, actually? I've been ranting and raving. I haven't been noticing. But <clears throat> as somebody who is very big on becoming their higher self and being exactly who they wanted to be or imagine themselves as when they were younger and all of that, you know, I think that's everybody's goal 
but now for that to be your job and for it to also be like a constant thing that's actually crazy it's actually fucking crazy but i wouldn't have it any other way that's what i know for fucking sure i would not have it any other way but it's also okay and i'm also coming to terms with the fact that it's okay to just say damn and then say some how you feel about a particular thing out loud you can be grateful for something and still realize that it comes with other things you know anyway i say all of that to say i literally spoke about like four things but yeah adulting is adulting is interesting it's interesting and you know what i think the issue i think the one thing that trips me up about all of this is that honestly and truly it will always be okay that's what bores me why don't we just get to the point where it's okay be okay but the thing about it is like i said life works in waves to where in one wave it will really be okay but in order for you to get your next okay wave you kind of need to go through something that will teach you how to handle your next okay wave because your next okay wave is going to be a bigger okay wave than the wave you just come from so you need that dip so that you can handle the next so that the next is even bigger and then that dip will come afterwards for the next wave of grades. It's just... It's interesting. This place called Earth is very interesting, guys. Very, very, very fucking interesting. Very interesting. And that's all, that's all I have to say. Oh, that's all I have to fucking say. Ooh, and then, and then, and then the waiting game. <laughs> I'm convinced that a key skill that all people who are entering adulthood need to hone and really, really, really learn is patience. It's a big fucking part of life. Waiting, waiting, planning, um, thinking about, you know, all that's a big, like, big moments are actually very, not rare, but they actually don't happen that often, you know? Life-changing moments actually don't happen that often, but what is a constant... Like what constantly comes up like in just you know my own journey is just that requirement of patience like constantly honing that skill and being okay with patience and change those are two my advice to you is to is to learn learn how to how to i don't even know how to put it learn how to hone those skills but learn to get comfortable with waiting Learn to get comfortable with change. That's what I'm learning. That's what I'm fucking learning. Cause you're gonna do some. You're gonna do some waiting. You're gonna do some waiting in life. So just get comfortable with it. If you're if you're the type of bitch who's always in a rush, you're probably gonna get yourself into a lot of trouble first, and a lot of avoidable situations. That you could have avoided if you had just waited. There's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of shit going on. Teach yourself to wait on the Lord. Because if you if you rush and if you just do what you what you think you need to do in order to get where you think you you need to get as quick as possible, you're going to get yourself into a lot of shit. Especially ooh. Especially if your plan is to do it on your own. Like if you never want anybody to be like, yeah, you're this and that because of me. If your plan is to do it alone, get comfortable with waiting. Because you can. You can. Listen, you can do a lot quickly. In a rush, in a hurry. It's possible. You can do it. But it comes with a lot. Rushing. Being unprepared relying on other people comes with a lot it doesn't just come with that gift 
it doesn't just come with that miracle or that um that big moment you know like i was saying like those are pretty rare what you do have to get used to is patience but i'm i'm be, i'm speaking to everybody that's i'm speaking to the girls i'm speaking to the girls i'm speaking to the manifestation girls the girls that are willing to trust on the lord and do things on their own time on their own terms um by themselves guys my entire job literally my entire job encompasses my personality i do not want to do things on other people's time i want to do what i want to do when i want to do it how i want to do it as long as i've got god backing me supporting me as long as we've talked about my plans and we're good we're straight um you know we've got a plan together i'm good you know it's just the waiting period and understanding that there's certain things he still needs to teach me in order for me to get that blessing that I'm asking for. That, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> but yeah, rather, rather that, rather that than half of the shit that could possibly happen, you know. What's happening with the world has absolutely nothing to do with heaven's supply over my life. And that is truly what I have decided to believe. Whatever's happening, whatever bitches need to do to get whatever they need to do, I have nothing to do with that. Because heaven's supply is so much greater than what anybody what any institution, what any company, what any manager, what any nigga, what any family member has to, it doesn't compare. Heaven supply versus what people think that they can offer you, it just doesn't compare. It doesn't compare. If I have to learn a couple lessons, if I have to wait a couple seasons to reach heaven supply, I'm going to go get heaven supply because that is so much greater. Firstly, in size, in 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 self respect, in, in, there's so much I can gain from waiting for heaven supply and relying on heaven supply than thinking that this shit is about the world thinking that this shit is about uh companies thinking that this shit is about brands it's not about that it's not about that it's not about who's in my dm I, my dms cannot supply what heaven has in store for me do you understand what i'm fucking saying like god has never God has never said to me or proven to me that, yo, bro, you actually cannot fucking rely on me. Go make yourself a plan. Never. Why, why would I start now? Why would I start now? God has never said, go and beg that company, babes, because I got nothing for you. Never. Never. So, it's just a waiting game, guys. It's just a waiting game, man. Ugh. Um, it's a waiting game and honestly, like, I also have to be willing to put in certain, put in the work, you know what I'm saying? Put in the work. I can't think about my life more than I live it. And I'm very cautious, like, I, I'll be the type of person, like, I'm really, yo, guys, I think cautious is the most accurate way to describe myself. Like, I'm very scared of making mistakes. To where I will think about a move before I make it. And to the point of overthinking. But I will thoroughly plan out a move before I make it. And then God is just like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're all that planning. And that's not how we're doing it. Wait. This is how it's going to go. Yeah, no. It's just. He's interesting. My lips are dry. But I do have the flu, I told you guys. And that moment, my hair is a done, baby. Ooh. Not the tag, but I literally have like a blonde weave unit in right now. 
but I can't go enjoy it because your girl is sniffling and snuffling and coughing and all of that ah yeah guys oh and then oh 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 and then <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into the constant chatter in your head the constant chatter, chitter, chatter, 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 in your head. I won't even get into that. I won't even fucking get into that because I am tired of that. That's that's one thing I am 150% willing to admit that I'm fucking tired of. The constant chatter in your brain. And sometimes I'm watching a movie, dog. I'm watching a movie. Okay, yes, I need to deep clean. Yes, I know I need to clean. I know I need to buy electricity. I know. But can I watch the movie? Can I watch the movie? I have I recorded that for 30 minutes. I've been talking for 30 minutes. I okay, I think I've I've covered a lot in what we've been talking about. I've spoken I've spoken about just the general sense of adulting and just the realization of the fact that you are alive. You're here. There's no manual. The only real the only real guideline you have is stay prayed up and get your paper up. Those are the two rules. Stay prayed up, get your paper up. That's it. Money and God. Those are your only two guidelines. If whatever you do leads you to money and God, you're on the right track, basically. That's the only real manual that I can come up with. Get get your money. Stay with God. Those are the two real guidelines in life. But otherwise, like, how do I get there? How do I do that? Who do I ask? What do we do? Do you know what I'm saying? So I've so I've covered that. <clears throat> well, I've spoken about that. Um, and also just the guilt of... Or, or, or the guilt between trying to protect my energy and trying to live my best life in my early 20s. Um, there's that. And then, um, what else did I talk about? Oh, and being in a rush for certain things. Anyway, that was a nice venting session. Now I got onto my phone and remembered everything. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'll see you guys later. Good morning. Hey. Um, so today... Hello, lighting. King, go see. What's wrong? Um, it's Sunday. And I have just finished cleaning up the house. So, I want to go have some fun, some Sunday fun, you know. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to prison break. At this point, Kifin and I go prison break market, honestly. I'm literally always there. But, it's easy. It's like an easy place to go. And yeah. So, I have something to show you guys before I go take my shower. I actually have to take out my outfit. I know what I want to wear in theory. I just want to lay it out and see. But even so, I have to record a video. I'm moisturizing my lips noise. So I have to. Anyway, um, I have to record content for the hair that I'm going to be wearing when I'm out. Your girl got another headband wig. You know how I'm obsessed with that other one, that long one, the big, big one. I decided to go short and just go get an easy, fun one. You know, like something that's not too stressful, something that I can do all the time and not have to just do too much. So yeah, um, I got another headband wig, so that's great. But I'm going to record that content before I leave the house, you know, just to do a two-in-one type of situation. Anyway... I have something to show you. I was watching, um, not watching, I was listening to Puff Johnson. Let me stand here so you can see it properly. But I got my TV stand. I will put the Instagram of the company that sold it to me. I don't know if switching on the light will make it better. Yeah. If you saw the unboxing, on Instagram, you were a real one. Like I always say, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. That's where the scoop is. But yeah, it's so pretty. It's got like a drawer. Let me show you. Like a drawer. Well, two drawers. And it's like this beautiful glossy white. 
and then the bottom is this gold so it's really pretty and then my boyfriend surprised me and bought me a tv so we've got a tv we've got a tv stand we've got a coffee table we don't have the rug yet I've got my eye on a rug and we don't have the couch yet. Um, I had to, I actually will tell you what happened with the couch now, now. But yeah, all I have to do now is find someone to fix the wall because my attempts failed horribly. If you know, you know, if you watched the other seven days with K, you'd know. So yeah, guys, I have the situation. Um, yeah, I was listening to Puff Johnson and like I told you guys I was cleaning and if you know, you know this album has no, like, no bad songs. All of the songs, it's hit after hit, there are no skips on this album, so, yeah, that's what I was doing. Anyway, um, with the couch, listen, I'm not going to say anything bad, but <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do that company. I couldn't do that company. If you watch my vlogs, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Like, I'm not trying to be weird. So I'm also not going to, you know, mention the names and all of that. But if you know, you know. Like, if you've seen the vlog where I went shopping for my couch. Um, it wasn't necessarily even shopping. It was supposed to be a whole collaboration. But I just was uncomfortable with a few things. I was uncomfortable with um contacting them i was uncomfortable with how long they took to respond to even just a whatsapp message and the only issue is that whatsapp number is the number that they actually use to talk to customers so i was like what even before like we started the collab and i you know just contacted them just to contact them like a customer would like a normal customer would they just took forever you know the communication wasn't great the service wasn't great and I was just scared and I've also heard um, with doing this collab I've heard that not even heard I know that they did a collab with another influencer and that went horribly so I was like let me get out of this as quickly as I can <laughs> like let me save myself that I don't want people DMing me telling me that the couch that they ordered is not great or whatever whatever you know like I just don't want or that they can't get a hold of mang mang you know like I just don't want that issue so i just quit before any of that was too far gone um already they took way too long to make my couch so imagine how long they're gonna take for just you know someone else and also it's like i'm not in with the home stuff i'm a little more strict than with the beauty stuff because for example a couch like you're spending minimum five thousand rand like five thousand to fifteen thousand um, is the rain, you know, like that's a lot of money. I don't want to play with your money, you know, like I'm not playing with that amount of money That's insane. Like No, I'm not I'm not doing that. So yeah, that's basically why if I'm being completely honest Like I didn't want to post any vlogs without my couch because I thought that my couch was coming and then The whole situation happened and my couch is not coming So I'm just going to order a couch from the people that made my TV stand because they are great when it came to timing they told me that my couch would be my tea stand would be ready on the 26th of july and i think uh, i think it was ready like on the 18th so that's great so i'm comfortable letting you guys know about that company i'm okay with that so i'm gonna order well i ordered my couch from them and we'll see when it comes so yeah let me shower guys actually let me pick out an outfit i want to wear shorts like i'm going through like summer fomo like real summer fomo like i really 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 wanted to be warm again like i'm tired of i'm tired of this so i'm wearing shorts but i'm gonna wear jackets um so yeah let me prepare myself let me do what i need to do um when it comes to my makeup my hair and all of that and then we will meet when I am requesting my Uber to go to the market. And yeah. Okay guys, so this is what I decided to wear. I'm going to wear these shorts. I got these from Cotton On, I believe. Yeah, Cotton On. And then I'm going to wear this crop top from Superbulous. This is the jewelry that I'm going to wear. Just these hoops. 
this anklet and this necklace um this top is from supra it's like a long sleeve crop top and then i'm obviously gonna wear this jacket that i'm obsessed with from supra as well and then i'm actually going to carry this bag when lost guys oh my gosh it's been a minute and then this is a fragrance that i'm going to wear it's the jimmy choo original and then for shoes i'm going to wear these adidas um techies and yeah that's basically what i'm going to wear and i'm gonna get dressed and then i'm gonna make myself like a cocktail while i do my makeup and then i'm gonna do my hair and then i'm gonna be out okay so i'm gonna take this glass just you know any glass really um and i'm gonna take some tequila this is a really nice tequila actually this is cactus jack it's the original but it gives very much flavor like one thing about tequila it's ugly like Tequila is ugly, like honestly, no matter how much you like it, no matter how much that's your preferred, it's not nice, it doesn't taste nice, so this is actually the first tequila that I've ever tasted that actually tastes good. There's two other flavors, but I don't really like them as much as this one, it's like the honey, the honey is like strong, I don't like it. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, honestly, just, it doesn't matter, just, <laughs> because it doesn't actually taste like alcohol, I can actually put a lot. And then, this was not like a real drink, guys, please. It's just something that I'm doing right now. I'm going to take some cordial, the lime one, and just add like a splash. Because I've got Paradise Bliss, so I'm going to put some Paradise Bliss. So I just need a splash of this. And then this is Paradise Bliss. This is a pre-made cocktail i don't know it's got um vodka orange and passion fruits in it so it's very tropical which is why i chose tequila and i'm just going to pour some in here and then i don't want to put ice in. yeah it's three i'm gonna do a very simple makeup look so i'm hoping that i'm at least leaving the house by four that's good if you were to see the studio you'd cry tears you'd swear i didn't clean but i had to do some work talking about work guys how cute is this wig let me show you properly so, <clears throat> how cute is she she's very much different i will with this lighting she's very much different she's giving summer anyway i want to change bags oh do i want the strap out Strap out gives casual, yeah. What bag was I using yesterday? Oh, I wore the. I went out for drinks with Musani, the same people that I'm gonna go out with today, and I wore this bag for the first time, and it was cute. Loved it. Okay, this card holder, honestly, when it comes to the coins, they stress me out. Anyway, I'm gonna put my card holder, lip gloss. Which perfume am I taking? Let me actually take the rose. I always take the rose. Um, hand cream is a sobe one, obviously. Yeah, what else? Do I need a charger? No. Let me actually take a charger because I don't know what's actually going to happen after here. Um, yeah, let me spray my perfume. Also, I wanted to take this also heavenly. If you guys remember, I specifically bought this so that it can go in my bag. Oh shit, I got this cute mirror. Sorry, I had to get it while I still remembered. Anyway, this I got specifically for days like today where my legs are out. So this is oil that's going to stay in my bag for the day. But yeah, I needed like a... I got that because I actually needed an oil that stays in my bag. <laughs> you can't see my face. Yeah, so... He's three minutes away. I'm also pretty much ready. I got this super cute mirror from the company that sponsored the hair video. Love me hair. It's like a really good mirror. Like it's a good ass mirror. And it goes in this little pocket thing. So cute. And you don't touch the actual mirror. You just touch this thing. I love it. Alright, I'm going to go. He's on his way. Um, and I will see you guys at Prison Break Market. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely forgot my other battery. Oh. Okay. 
Ja. Guys, the clip is because I'm. If the vlog cuts off, if the vlog cuts off, Jay, suddenly it's because it's betrayed you. Anyway, I took my pictures. I'm so fucking happy. This is Desire. Hello. Yeah. Am I taking anybody's face? Dog, you know after left. No, I pressed that blacked out. You blacked out. You blacked out at the spot. You literally blacked out. You were there. Yes, of course I was there. I bought that again because you literally got there late. So what got you so drunk? I was drunk when I got there already. Oh, you came from somewhere? Yeah. Mm. So. Who said he had my vlog? But told me. You'd swear he wasn't the one carrying my, my camera in second year. Hey, boy, you're going to be on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, mate. YouTube, me. Uh, 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 okay. Remember when you guys were telling him to start a channel? Stand up. And Lol, this, comment if you've actually been here that long. Yo, that's actually fucking crazy. <laughs> are you live right now? Oh, I, are you live right now? <laughs> Guys, this is Usani's bestie. No, it's my follow, follow me on. Uh, oh, his brother. Um, follow me on. Uh, Where? Instagram. Instagram, bro. Follow me in the streets. Uh, yeah. Please get off the streets. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> he fucking heard you. Are you guys not fucking COVID? Nah. I would like to. If my arms are covered, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they don't get cold, bro. Why is it because I'm a hands are hammer and I'm a tap up pizza? Yeah, yeah, the friction creates heat. <laughs> no, but also, yeah, you guys are thigh gaps. You guys don't have thighs. What the fuck do you have? And I told him, oh, he was like, what's like your deal break? I was like, you know, then it's like, yeah. How do you know that? Like, oh, that's that's skinny that immediately that skinny niggas, yes. Like, yeah, somebody said that out, he doesn't have a thigh cap. That nigga he doesn't have, have a thigh cap at all. That's why that's he's, he's my type. That nigga is sexy chap. <laughs> what do you mean? But you literally just said. So he's telling me he's dashed, doesn't have a thigh cap. Okay, fuck, I'm gonna realize I'm gonna prepare to do it. A lot of niggas have thigh gaps, and that's just not the way. Dude, niggas don't have thigh gaps. I niggas have thigh gaps, bro. Mm, uh, but no, but, but niggas, that, niggas that kill me are the ones that will go with quick ones. Well, actually, yeah, then there's those niggas. I could oh, never. Quick ones. No, Soccer but quick ones are weird because they have the thigh gap and then the. the, 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 the Keep me in rugby, no, and I'm good. No, no. 